let's play a game. Are virtual pets a fad from the late 90s and early 2000s, or the idea for today's redstone contraption? The, the answer is both. This is our pet, and the idea is that the player is going to need to feed their pet in order to keep them from getting a uh, tummy ache. And I want this front display to show the level of happiness of the pet based on some other activities we'll do. Now I think the first thing that we should build is the food input, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm currently adding an item filter because I think our pet should be a super picky eater and is only going to eat carrots, potatoes, and apples, so those are the items we're going to sort out. With the sorted items, we're then going to be able to keep track of how many items the player puts in, which will then affect the hunger bar and all other items are just going to get discarded. And with that logic now in place, we can go ahead and build the brains of the operation, the countdown clock. So I need a system that is going to count down the hunger points. That way our pet has the ability to starve. <laughs> wow, that was dark. <laughs> and I also need to add a clock over here. So that way any discarded items that aren't carrots, potatoes or apples are going to get shot out onto my best attempt at building a toilet and the player is gonna have to come and pick up those items or our pet is gonna be unhappy. I ended up taking a break from the project, but now that I've come back, I really don't understand the logic I was working with. So instead of doing the countdown clock right now, I'm gonna instead do this light up display to count the points. And I think that should help with my logic. It's kind of like how a maze is always easier if you start from the end. And oh my God, was starting from the back not the best idea I've had yet because starting from the back, meant that I could design this and then somehow figure out the clock to work with this system, and that made it so much simpler. I have this barrel of wooden swords, which means that every time we remove two wooden swords, it is going to update the front display. So right now, this front light is going to be on, meaning that the pet has one bar of hunger. Now, the awesome thing about using wooden swords in a barrel is that I only have to add or remove two wooden swords in order to update the display, and the, the observer, it exists, guys. I can actually use it in a useful method, and that is going to be detecting the redstone line turning on, and then detecting it turning off, which is going to send two updates to this dropper, which is going to return the wooden swords into the barrel after we add food to the system. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the clock over here. This is the hunger clock. It's gonna do the exact same thing with an observer so that we remove two wooden swords. I don't think you guys understand how exciting this is for me. Uh, to use the observer and it actually work and not cause headaches is mind blowing. And now that everything is wired up properly, I'm ready to actually get into the clockwork. So really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all of my redstone lines. However, I'm going to replace the redstone dust with leaves. That way I know where I've removed redstone. Now that I've disconnected the redstone, we can go ahead and add our items to the hopper clocks. So I'm gonna throw 60 items inside of the hunger clock that way it counts for a minute per piston switch meaning that this redstone block is going to be in this position every two minutes so that is basically exactly what we want that means that it's going to take 20 minutes for our pet to starve and if we come over here this is the cleaner clock because this is a sticky piston pushing this block across it actually made this hopper clock really really simple and we're going to throw 120 items in here so it takes two minutes to count down meaning that the player has two minutes to come and pick up their garbage items. And now that the logic for the pet is done, I started work on the display and I was really worried about working on this because I thought it was gonna be super difficult, but I actually don't think it's going to be because these lights are always going to be lit up, meaning that depending on the state, I only need to change these six lanterns, depending if he's happy, neutral, or sad. So I really don't think it should be that difficult. Those are famous last words though. And the way I'm thinking of doing it is with this pink circuit. I've just gone ahead and lined everything up. I think it's easier if I start with the repeaters, that way I know what I'm powering. But it should honestly be as simple as just connecting these up and then powering the different redstone lines depending on the state. But again, I really doubt it's this easy. Guys, I'm confused. I don't understand this. Why is this redstone dust powering this redstone lamp? It's not on the eyeballs, but it is down here. Because if we look at the eyeballs, they're basically the same. We've got redstone dust on glass. This redstone lamp isn't powered though. But down here it is, and I just, I don't understand why. And instead of trying to figure out why those lanterns were lighting up for the next hour and a half, I decided, you know what, why the headache? I'm just gonna add sleeves to the pet. It really doesn't change the aesthetic. If anything, I think it makes them look cooler. So, you know what? It was a happy accident. And as messy as it is, I do think that it should work now. If you come to the front, you'll see that it is currently on the sad face because I was messing with his food bar. And then if I come down here and replace this leaf block with a redstone dust, I should be able to update this observer so that it's like he's eating food. So we're just gonna pretend like I put in three pieces of carrots. So that would be one carrot, 
two carrot, and then three carrot. So that should have worked. All of those items should be put back. We should have three carrots, which we do, and he is in his neutral state, guys. This is a success. And I believe the last thing I have to do is hook up this redstone block to the sad face. That way when there's items put behind the pet, then the face displays sad. But I have to somehow shut down all the other faces and I don't have very much room to work with. Despite that though, I managed to get it working. So the front display is currently active and actually the entire pet is active. I have the hopper clocks working. So he is currently counting down items and in the process of starving. And since I've started the hopper clocks, I realized that there are not nearly enough items in here. There should be five stacks of items in each of these hoppers because hoppers transport five items per second so this should be a minute long timer, but before it was only, I believe, a little over 10 seconds. So this should work now. And then over here, this one, we actually can't get to go two minutes. So we're just gonna have to throw in five stacks of items and say that a minute is good enough. But if we go ahead and test out the system here, you'll see that he is currently on the normal face. And then if we go ahead and throw in some carrots here, and we'll throw in, let's say four, one, two, three, and four four just like that those are all going to get sorted out and we're going to see the ticks on here actually count up unless i forgot to hook up the redstone which it is looking like i did or didn't did oh it's only going to count the food oh that's a horrible way of doing it why did i do it that way all right, let's try that again. Before, this comparator was on this hopper, which means that only after an item would flow out of the hopper would it update the system, which is no good because the only time an item is let through the hopper is when we're counting a hunger point. So the food and the hunger point would cancel each other out, which means nothing would happen. But I've moved the comparator over to this hopper, which should mean that it'll count every piece of food that we put in the system. We have three lights off, so let's go ahead and put three carrots in here. There we go, those should all be counted out, and we should see that they are gonna start adding lights. So we've got one, two, and three, and our guy is now happy, which is absolutely wonderful. And then again, if I go ahead and throw in a junk item, let's say I try to feed him a block of redstone, that's gonna get shot across, and then it's gonna be carried over to the trash, which is gonna make our little guy frown. So we'll just sit here and wait for that item to get dispensed any second now. There we go. Uh, there's a little bit of a glitch. There's really not much I can do about that. But there we go. He is now frowning, which means that this counts. Oh, well, okay. If I come down here, we'll see that there's still items in here. It's counting down, but it was counting and we now have reset the system. So if we come to the front. He's smiling again. Yay. Oh, wait, I forgot to add the kaboomy if things go south. And linking everything up so that it does explode if anything goes wrong is actually really simple because everything is so close and I just got really lucky again. So this is the cleaner clock and if it runs out of items, then this comparator will turn off, which will then send a signal over here, which is gonna light our TNT. This is gonna be our TNT thing. I'm not adding it until I make a copy of the world though. And then this is going to be the system for if the pet starves then it's going to send a signal up here which is also going to light our tnt so that was incredibly simple this is definitely the most nerve-wracking part of this entire thing all right i've gone ahead and set him up so he's about to starve now and then we should hopefully see him explode my only concern is that that might not be enough tnt and i did kind of make this entire thing out of concrete but we should be seeing this last hunger bar tick off any second now and then it should you know explode all right well the light turned off oh um yeah no i uh, whoa oh wait i already had the, <laughs> i thought the tnt did this i already had already dug out quite a massive hole fair enough yeah no that works for me i would say that he is definitely gone he's starved to death i don't think there's any coming back from this that also kind of hurt because all my redstone's gone now. All right, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to download the world and mess around with your very own redstone pet, then there will be a world download on my Discord, so go ahead and join that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then consider subscribing and leaving a like. My name is 1UpMC, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.